Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Let's Play. Here we have our starter house that we built in the last episode. But this episode I really want to go mining for as many diamonds as possible to kickstart things off. So I'm going to head back over to the lush cave where I know there is a massive cave there. And I'm going to start strip mining which is going to be very painful at Y-59 I believe is the best one. I'm going to need to get a water bucket. I've got plenty of food or at least I think I have. I should probably top that up now before I go anywhere. And it's now time to go and mine for diamonds. So let's start the mining montage. So the diamond mining was going pretty well. I actually strip mined for a long time, got a ton of deep sleep, and I actually found quite a few diamonds. And then something drastic happened. Oh my God. Oh no. I don't even know where I was. Can I have free? No, I have no idea where I was. Well, that was definitely a close call. I nearly lost everything that I had on me then, including the 30 odd diamonds that I had. Oh, wow. I just, I'm still just coming down from that episode there. That was just crazy. If I didn't receive those coordinates, all that stuff would have 100% despawned. It's like, it's very difficult to tell how you're meant to get back down when you don't actually know where you went. It's crazy. It's a shame there isn't anything in the game that you could use like another variant of a lodestone as an example to set a compass to your last location of death. I think that would be a very, very handy feature because otherwise I wouldn't have had to go and try and find those coordinates. It must have been very close from despawning, surely. I've lost my chest plate, I've just noticed. Oh wait, there's a shipwreck here. I need to go and grab whatever's in here. Um, Yeah, this is a really deep shipwreck. Oh, there's a chest here. What's this? Since when does TNT spawn in these chests? Actually, I'll take the potatoes and I'll also take the carrots, but... And the TNT can stay there. What do I not want? Gunpowder. Yeah, there we go. I have carrots and potatoes now, which I can start farming at the base. There's definitely another chest room somewhere, and I'm not entirely sure where it is. No. Oh, it's here. There we go. Um, What do I not want here? Get rid of the arrows. I'll take that. Thank you. Despite the downs that we've just had on that adventure, I think it was very, very worthwhile. We got a total of... 35 diamonds. That strip mining at Y59, Y-59, sorry, is actually very good for finding diamonds. It's a lot better than exploring caves because as you saw, I can get veins of eight at least, or at least majority of the time it was veins of eight that I found. I'm assuming they're more common if you strip mine, which is absolutely crazy. I think it's worth deep slate strip mining, you know, because that wasn't a bad haul at all. And I'm not entirely sure how many I need for a full set of diamond armor, but I'm not even going to craft it yet. Because don't forget, we'll have the Nether coming up soon. And on Imperial, I ended up crafting all my diamond armor. And then I lost it all to lava in the Nether. So I'm not going to do that this time. One thing I definitely need to craft is an enchanting table. Because that will come in very handy. The other good thing about this trip, Deep Slate. I'm going to want to build with this resource. So thank you. I will see you shortly. Oh, wait. Let's go get this. Very treasure. Uh, Where is it? Okay. So it is here. Um, let's try the, the shipwreck trick. Okay, so let's stand on the cross, which we're about here. And let's activate F3. So that's, that's 11. Wait, it needs to go 10, 9, 7, 8, 9. Should be here. All right, still works. Let's go. Ooh, and this will get saved as our first treasure map. Wait, when did they fix the boat animation? Like, it's moving opposite now. It used to move the exact same on each side. I just noticed it then. I was like, this doesn't sound like a boat. This sounds weird. And then I realized, oh, I'm so glad to be back home anyway. That was a crazy trip. Not the one with the treasure map. I mean, the one before. But yeah, that was just absolutely insane. Look at all the deep sleep we've got now. That's a lot of deep sleep. And we have diamonds. I haven't mined obsidian yet, which is a problem. But rather than going down in the mines for it, I think we should just go to a broken down nether portal, which I know there is one over there somewhere. There it is. I see it. How dare you guys trap the golem? How dare you? He's going to deal with you guys now. Get him, golem. Get him. Aha. Yeah, Gollum, you take him out. That's a lot of fire. Oh, I've got obsidian here too. Nice. Yeah, I forgot how painful this was at the start. It takes forever. I do think we'll leave the nether for a little bit. I want to make sure my base is fully set up. And I want to do some building at the start of a world for a change. Because every time I start a world, I don't really build a lot. I just like try and speed run at my own pace in a way. If that makes sense. And I want to switch it up this time. I kind of want to take things a little bit slower. 
Although I would love an elytra. Well, then again, when I do get that elytra, that's going to be a bit more painful because I'll have to build a creeper farm as well to get all the gunpowder. But it's all slow and steady progress here in this world. This is what this world is for. Slow and steady progress and work on one thing at a time and not have too many things going on at once. Or at least that's the hope. I can make a very big brain play here. There is a lava pool up on that hill somewhere. So why don't I go and get a water bucket and make my own? Makes sense, right? Is he actually going to die? Oh no. Okay, let's grab a bucket. Actually, you know what? Let's grab two because I'm going to make an infinite water source up here. And just like that, water. And there's a cave. Nice to know this is here. Then I'm just going to make my own little water source just like that. I didn't even need to dig any block. And now let's take one and go and get some obsidian. I'm actually really curious what my never looks like. Do I just make a portal and go through it and see what it looks like and then come back in? I'll probably come back in straight away. I don't really want to explore the nether too much just yet. Actually, imagine if it spawns us next to a fortress or a bastion. Oh, I guess it totally depends on what nether spawn we get as well. Because, I mean, if we get a really good nether spawn, I might just stay in there. A few blaze rods, get some potions going and stuff. That'll be pretty cool. Or at least I'm... Oh, wait, it's there. I see it. The stone over there. Perfect. Let's take about 20 blocks back. Actually, I'm going to place that there. So this is what I'm imagining. I'm thinking later down the line, once I've built in the paths and stuff, I'm thinking of having three paths going up from here. I'm thinking the middle one should be the nether portal, and then we'll have a path going there and a path going up there somewhere. So I think the portal should go about here. I'll decorate it another time, but this is just where it's going for now. And there it is. I just need a flint and steel, which I don't have. I have the steel. But not the flint. Well, in that case, let me go and try and find some gravel. And I'm hoping that's a bunch over there, which it is. Actually, there's gravel in the wall just here. Let's try this. There we go. I'll take that. All I need to do is make this and then build the portal. I think we should find out what it looks like. Don't you? Let's go. Oh, where are we? We're in a warped biome and a nether waste. Is there anything around? Not that I can see. There's a basalt over... Okay, that's a... Is that a bug? Oh, no. It's, I thought that was flat. The roof up there. It's not. Yeah, I don't really see any fortresses, any bastions or anything like that loading in. So I think I might go back instead. Or do I find a fortress? And now I need two diamonds and I'm going to need to craft my first book. I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to do that. There we go. And I'm going to need to start a sugarcane farm, which I'm going to do... I thought I had a creeper there. Um, which I'm going to do right now. Doesn't have to be anything spectacular. I'm just going to fill this whole row here. And now it's time to plant the sugarcane. Now, the one thing that's missing is a cow farm, which I'm going to have to go on a little bit of an adventure to try and find some. First, I am going to need an area for them to go. I'm thinking we use some deep slate. Can we do deep slate walls? Let me check. We can. Okay, maybe cobbled stone deep slate walls and a spruce fence might do. Spruce fence gate is what I meant to say. Doesn't have to be anything amazing. It's just temporary. And that will be for the cows. Or the cows that I don't currently have, which I'm now going to get. But first, I am going to place this down. Oh, I can't yet because I haven't done the roof. Uh, we'll do that after. Um... Yeah, let's go find some cows then. I can see sheep and pigs, but no cows. I last found one around here, so I'm just hoping there's still some laying around. Any cows? I don't think so. Oh, right over there in the distance, there is three. Okay, let's go over there then. It's a bit of a walk, but it's okay. Oh, we got four of them. Come on, come with me. Yeah, this is fun. So much fun. <laughs> no, a sheep's following me. I've lost a cow's interest. Come here. Come on before the creepers come out. Come on, not far. It's just there. Come on, a little bit quicker. Don't want any mobs around. Come on. Yeah, this is going to cause a problem, I think. There's going to be a few mobs lurking outside my house, which I do not want. Come on, very nearly there. All right, let one in. There we go. Come on, nearly. Stop pushing. <laughs> you guys are a literal pain. Oh, now you're walking. <laughs> Come on, cows. Over here. Okay, so one thing I really need to do is I need to set up a designated mining spot. But where do I do it? is the question. Oh, do I do it over here and go down towards where the ocean is? Oh, that'd be cool. I definitely want this out the way of everything else. So I think here would be a pretty good spot if I don't hit the ocean on the way down. Or maybe we do it a bit further back. Maybe we do it 
over here or we could do it inside the mountain or it's just i don't know i'm just thinking where i could possibly go i could do it i could make multiple mines who knows actually that's a clever idea i could do a mine in every single direction and have like a center point i'm most likely going to need a new pickaxe though because i do not have a lot of durability left on this one actually before we do that i am quickly in fact have i got any um spruce slabs i don't think i do no um okay so that changes my plan just a little bit i'm going to make some and i'm going to try and finish what we had left i don't want to make too many there you go that'll do so inside the house uh what i did as well is i changed the door a little bit to be on the inside because i just didn't like the way it looks and now it gives it a bit of a bit of depth it looks fine on here but here it gives it a bit more depth and then obviously there's depth here which i'm thinking spruce logs or something across this it's like a little frame to so sort of like that i could also do it where it stairs going across actually wait i'm gonna change the top of this just one second okay so i'm thinking we do stair there oh i'm gonna have to try and get the right angle here sorry house i'm breaking you a little bit but it's needed and then we'll do a stair there fix the house then i'm thinking we do strip log strip log trap door not trap door that's not trap door uh it's a slab does this look good um let me get a stair what about that little bit of a frame um yeah that'll do and then i'm gonna have this on the top and i'm gonna have ladders going up in the middle six ladders should be enough i think yeah we should be fine in fact it was the perfect amount and then we will be up here so now i'm thinking just to give the roof a little bit of depth we just fill this in with slabs like so and just for consistency and for blending I'm going to bring these to the walls on the top, even though technically you won't see them from the downstairs, which is fine. And then strip them just like that. There we go. And I'm thinking our enchantment table is the roof in the way, though. Actually, uh, maybe it might be a little bit, um, but it's fine. Uh, maybe we won't do a window here. I'm going to probably patch this window up and I'm going to put my enchantment set up here. So let's go and grab. Well, I can't grab the bookshelves because I haven't got any. Wait, I was going to say, imagine if we could get a stronghold to get the bookshelves quicker. That would be amazing. So I'm thinking we go there. And it emits a little bit of light, and then we can do our bookshelves around here. Do I try and find a stronghold just to get bookshelves? I'd have to go into the nether to get blaze rods, and I would also need ender... Oh, yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? I'm going to need ender pearls. Wait, I've got gold, haven't I? Gold blocks. I can... Oops. I can trade these with the piglins in the nether and hopefully get some ender pearls. Oh, I could literally try and locate a stronghold right now. And then my sugarcane farm is practically pointless. Guys, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway because I've never tried this in Minecraft before. I've always gone for a sugarcane farm and a cow farm to get my books. But why don't we just go and try and get them from a stronghold? I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. This could take a while, but it will be worth it. Where's my shield? Okay, I will just make a new one. I'm pretty sure my old shield were broke anyway, near enough. And let me craft a spare pickaxe. Have I got one spare already? Okay, I've got a spare pickaxe on the go. I'm gonna need... That's it, right? Oh, wait, I might need a sword as well. Okay, let's give this a go. So, I'm actually wearing a piece of gold armor, so I shouldn't get hit by piglins. So, and speaking of the devils, there is some right here. And I'm going to screenshot the coordinates. Ah, that's close enough, right? Yeah. Okay, so these guys, I need to try and trap them. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Wait, actually, let's try and bait them in to trade with me. Where's the other one? Where's the other piglin gone? Did he just despawn or run off or something? I have no idea. Actually, there's an enderman there. So let me just build a little bit of shelter and look at him. There we go. Uh, guys, why are you guys here? You're not supposed to be here. You guys want to get out? There you go. Uh, no, I never said you can get out. Okay, so rather than relying on all that gold getting me them, let's just mine little bits of gold that I can find and craft some more ingots if I need them. He's not giving me a single ender pearl. I got that myself. I think I'm going to need some more gold. I could always find a bastion, although it's very dangerous, but I mean, it's worth it. Not a single ender pearl. Dang it. Okay, let's go back up and I'm going to try and scout out either a fortress or a bastion. I have a nosy this way first, I think. All this to try and get enchantments, guys. I'm trying a different strategy and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. In fact, let's go this way. This way is more open. And I'm going to try and mine as much gold as I can, just so I've got a little bit extra. Yes? Ah, there we go. Oh, plenty of bone meal early game as well. And there's all the gold that I want. <laughs> Let's go. I am very happy now because there's a bastion there and I'm going to steal all this gold. If I can get over there, that is. Oh, that's a bit of a drop. Yeah, how do I get this mine down? Well, what's in here then? 
Ooh, golden carrots. I can actually put a chest plate on as well. A little bit of extra protection. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I'm going to have to get over that. Or I can go around. Is there any brutes? No, not quite. This is very low down. Okay, please don't attack me, guys. I'm just here to steal your gold, okay? I'm going to give it you guys back, I promise. Okay, I've got the gold. I've got it. That's all I wanted. Are they mad at me? They're not mad at me. Okay, so now I need to bait... Oh, you scared me there. I need to try and bait as many of them as I can into a gold pit. Why are you mad? Okay, these guys are mad at me. These guys are mad. How about you guys do me a favor, huh? How about you guys do me a favor? You guys want some gold? You guys can have some gold. Oh, that was close. I thought it was going to jump up at me. Okay, guys, I don't mean no harm. I'm just going to throw you guys some gold down, okay? 16 gold there. Go on. Yeah, give me all your loot. Is there a way I can trap these guys? Are they going to hurt me now? I mean, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Wait, these guys aren't mad at me anymore. You guys sure? You guys aren't going to turn on me when I when I jump down? Yeah, we friends now? Okay, so let's try and get them in a little bit of a trap here. So let's bait them over. All you guys got to do... No, give me that back. Yeah, just jump down there. That's all you got to do. Come on, fellas. Come on. There we go. I see an ender pearl. Oh, I see two. Just keep going, guys. Thanks. All done? We all done? Definitely? Oh, look at all this good stuff. Wait, there's books here too? What? Oh, wow. There's a lot of goodies here. There's a lot of goodies. Soul speed. Oh, yeah. I forgot they traded them. Okay, that will do for me. So now it's time to find a fortress. I'm going to try and go past the bastion, though. If I am lucky, I will come across one. If not, I'm probably going to... Well, cry. <laughs> okay, no sign of a fortress yet. Well, this is a shame, isn't it? I do have a feeling there's one that way, though. I always find them in the waste biome. That's relatively speaking. Obviously, sometimes it might not. I have the uh, advancement. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's go over this way. Is that a fortress? No. Oh, I was tricked. That looked like a fortress. Easy does it. Get over the lava. Oh, it is a fortress. I did see one. Oh, let's go. Okay, I need to stay away from the wither skeletons. Where are the spawners? I need a blaze spawner. That's all I've come for. Oh, and I need never what too. This fortress is actually really out in the open, isn't it? This is pretty good. I'm just a little bit petrified of the wither skeletons. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, so let's not go in that way. Let's go in a different way. To be fair, I have got a shield. There's a spawner right there. Do I have to take the skeletons out? I think I do. Imagine if I get a wither skull like really early on. That'll be pretty cool. Hi, both of you. How are you doing? Oh, oh, I thought that was it. I forgot they could melee attack. Oh my God, that was so close. Okay, I'll go for the ones easiest to target then. Hey, there we go. And now I just need to try and patch this spawner up. I've just realized I only got six ender pearls. Oh no. I want to walk away with about 20 blaze rods and then I'll be happy. So far, I am on nine. In fact, I think 17 is enough because don't forget, I don't need as much as you think because I just need enough for brewing stands and I need enough for crafting the Eyes of Ender to try and find the stronghold. And while I'm here, I'm going to get some of these on the way back. Wait, I've just realized something. When I loaded in then to the overworld, the world loaded instantly. Okay, so now I have these six Ender Pearls. Now I'm going to make six Eyes of Ender. And hopefully we can find a stronghold, then find a library, and then get the books that I need for the enchantment setup. All I need is the bookshelves and I'm coming back. I'm not going to the end. Don't worry. Okay, so it's this way. So knowing my luck, I am not going to use the Eyes of Ender until I get, let's say, to around minus 1,500 on the Z-axis, maybe. Or maybe 1,000 on the X. Minus 1,000, sorry. This is going to be a long walk, but it should be worth it. Okay, we're now at X minus 1,000. Let's go ahead and throw it here. Okay, so it's over there somewhere. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how huge this beach is? Uh, this is incredible. Aw, baby turtle. It has to be said, right? One thing I've noticed that's really common in this update is turtles. Which is, of course, a good thing because I always struggle finding them. Well, I always did on older worlds, so... I mean, I'm not going to complain. Oh, there's a village over there. Look at that. Imagine if it's under the village. That'd be pretty cool. Hang on. Is this the one I came to in the... F Wait, did I... I don't remember if I showed it in the first episode, but I did actually find a village. That's how I got all the bread, just in case I didn't show it. 
In fact, thinking about it, I don't think I did. Is this the same village I found? I did adventure out this way somewhere, but I can't remember exactly where I went. To be fair, in the first episode, I was just keen on playing. Like, I just wanted to get started, and I still do. I still want to get enchantments and stuff, which is why I'm rushing to the end now to try and get the bookshelves for the setup. Uh, rather than trying to build all the bookshelves from sugarcane and making books and stuff. Because that process is just quite long. Okay, moment of truth. Are we still going in the right direction? We are indeed. Oh, it's going to be out in the ocean, isn't it? Oh, no. Wait, if I go to there and then throw one, it's probably going to point me in the ocean somewhere, which I really do not look forward to. Okay, I'm going to throw one. Please do not go out there. Oh, it goes out there. Of course it does. Okay, so it's out here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to try and keep an eye out. I should have made a boat, really. I've got a feeling it's like here somewhere because they're never usually all the way out in the ocean. At least from experience. Let me throw one now. Yeah, it's still out there. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a dolphin. Come here. I need your services. You could have helped me before, mate. I've just been swimming a lot. Actually, this there's open, there's open caves underneath me. Let me throw it here. Where'd that just go? What on earth? Where did that just go? It was in the ocean somewhere, but I'm not entirely... Wait. Did you just go to it? I do feel like it's under here. Let me throw one again. It's gone out, it's gone out over here this time. Wait, what? It's there. It's here. That one broke. It's here. It's here. It's here. Okay, let's just... Sorry, it's a bit dark for you guys right now. Okay, that was that's not what I wanted. But needs must. Oh, there's water here anyway. I hear a lot of zombies. Okay, we are here. It's here. I don't want to jump onto any mobs though. Okay, where's the library? Oh, it's right here. Yes, this is literally what I came for. Oh, yes. I got tons of books. <laughs> that's literally what I wanted. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm going to try and find the room where the portal is just so I can screenshot the coordinates. Oh my god, there's another library. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna grab that one. Okay, that's a lot of mobs. Oh my god. Problem solved. Oh, it's here. Look at that. We found it. Yes. Okay, screenshot the coordinates. Um, I'm also gonna put in three eyes there as well. So I know there's nine. Let's take a screenshot of that. And a free iron chest plate. I'll actually take that. Oh my god, there's a mineshaft here too. <laughs> the mineshaft looks weird. Look at the way this mineshaft's generated. It's got the end built into the mineshaft. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, guys, I did some off-camera work on the mineshaft today. I just did some stone bricks as the walls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, well, that's a problem. But we're out. Let's just mark this, actually. Let's just build up a little bit of a cobblestone pillar. Just so I know where it is. And off we go. So the cow farm isn't really needed now, other than for food. We have all the books we ever need. I told you that would work, didn't I? A new strategy for getting fully enchanted definitely worked. I mean, don't get me wrong. It took a while, but it's so worth it. So now I'm going to have the pleasure, where have I just put the books? In here, of making the bookshelves. And I've made 42. <laughs> That's a lot of bookshelves. I'll use them for decorations as well. It's okay. So now, if I just place them around here, I actually need some cobblestone so I can patch up the window. We now have a full maxed out, yeah, level 30 right there. Look at that. Okay, what I'm going to do to save my levels is if I don't like something on the pickaxe, like unbreaking, I'm just going to see what I get on these. Protection one. Yep, good shout. What about now? Efficiency on breaking? No. Okay, let's try the chest plate. Uh, let's try the leggings. Let's try the boots. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Let's try the pickaxe again. Efficiency two. Efficiency three. Ooh, let's try that. Mm, I'm going to keep that just because I can. I might have to make another... Let's make another pickaxe and let's go for some more enchants. I have fortune there. I'm going to take that because I can use efficiency and then the fortune when I see diamonds or any other ore. It doesn't really matter. Um, blast protection, we'll take that and then we'll take another blast protection. There we go. So fully enchanted iron armor and pickaxe. I'm actually going to spend these on the other stuff just because I can. Um, let's see what I get here. Efficiency on the shovel. I get on breaking two on the axe. And I'm going to get sharpness on the sword. And the wandering trader has just turned up. What have you got for me? Nothing as per usual. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think next episode we're going to finish the starter house. I think it's a slow but steady progress for me, I think, for building. Because I'm trying to do multiple things at once. And between now and then, 
I'm going to go mining off camera. It's not going to be anything crazy, but I will record in case anything happens, like me dying to a creeper again. But until then, it is going to be goodbye from me for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.